This is your forecast for the month of March 2018. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. So now the underlying energy is this Ace of Wands. So what you really want is to make a fresh start. There's been an ending. You're waiting for something, and you want to make a fresh start. And this is going to be a month with a lot of change taking place. You only have one major card. It's the Hanged Man. And you're doing some kind of review of an opportunity that is presenting. This could be a financial opportunity. Or it could be an, an opportunity to travel. Or it could be an opportunity where you get to you know, expand your influence or broaden your horizons or change your perception in some way. It could be an opportunity where you get to prove, you know, you were right. You drive a point home, especially if you've been betrayed in some way. Uh, you may come out the victor in a negative situation. You get to prove a point somehow and you, you get to prove your innocence or prove your worth. So you're doing this review and you, you can't allow people to intimidate you. You have to rec you have to feel comfortable with you. You have to trust your instincts in order to move forward. But before you move toward that victory line, know the facts. Don't just operate on your emotions or uh, some false assumptions because then you may end up the Ten of Swords. Something about your situation, though, lacks sensitivity. There's a lack of feeling in something, a lack of warmth. And maybe that's why you feel alone or betrayed or like you're just hanging around and nothing's moving forward. You're not getting the respect or the recognition and you're still waiting for that. Uh, it could be that somebody's just being ultra logical. They're not even going to tap into their feelings. And there could be, you know, some kind of uh, situation where there's a delay. Now, for some of you, you know, there's some kind of guilt over something. There's something that you want to do. It could be taking a trip or going somewhere, moving ahead, advancing in some way. And yet there's a part of you that feels guilt. You don't want to leave something behind. For others of you, you know, you're, you want to travel. Maybe you are traveling. It could be a fascination with the sea or anything related to that. For others of you, you're looking for that emotional support, that comforting environment, the understanding, and yet you feel isolated and alone instead of that. But during this month, there's going to be some kind of outside factor that steps in and takes control of a situation that was at a dead end. For some of you, there's a lack of direction. You've hit bottom. You, you have some goals. You know what you want to do. You just don't know how to execute them. For some of you, you're your own worst enemy. You have an inner resistance to success, and so you sabotage it and make excuses, and maybe you don't even realize that you're doing that. And for others of you, you're just hanging around. You're waiting because you don't get it. You know, there's a goal in mind. Maybe it's been presented, but you don't quite see the merit yet. You need to understand why we're going to do something a particular way. Why do I need to follow this plan? Why is this important? And until you get that, Nothing is going to move. You're just going to stay there until you understand. And for some of you, this is connected to somebody that's just not going to be hurried. So you may be trying to get recognition in business, recognition for who you are as an individual. You may be waiting to end a situation or waiting for something to end or somebody's trying to change your mind about an ending. You want to make a fresh start where you gain some self-mastery, where you feel a sense of emotional and financial security. 
It could be that, you know, you're going to end something and start something else. And because you're waiting to make a fresh start or you have to change your perspective about how to do that. And it could be ultimately you get that recognition or you move forward and somebody is assisting you and giving you that green light, the thumbs up to go ahead. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And of course, you can always book a personal reading at thealchemistastrologer.com. Hey, before you go, don't forget to visit my website blog for the daily tarot card of the day. 